I invite those who can to stand up. We do this in reverence to the reading of the Bible, the Word of God. We're going to read in the Old Testament, the Book of Psalms, Psalms chapter four. Chapter four. The beginning of verse seven. You have put gladness in my heart. The church may be seated. May God bless the explanation of His word. The word. Authorizes me to say that man, the man of our our days, the last days, man is a being that is sad. Why am I saying that? Because the Bible says that inside of man. There is a soul, and that soul says, says the Bible, thirsts, thirsts for God. And I want to emphasize that it's not just about any God. It's not about God of lower case letters, but man's soul thirst for a uh, God that is alive, a God that, according to the Bible, created heaven and earth. And for many times, we hear people saying beside you, I feel something inside of me, an emptiness, a sadness, an anguish. Man's soul desires to be have its thirst quenched wants to uh, receive uh, happiness a man has has made everything to bring joy to his own soul and you know many times men even thinks that they are able to achieve it they go to a party they meet with their friends, they rejoice with one another, the smile comes to their lips, but the problem of the, the party is that it has a moment in which it's going to finish, because everything that is in this world that man seeks in order to bring joy to his soul is for just a moment. At the end of the party, He's a go by. Now it's time for me to go. And when man realizes that joy was a, a fleeting joy, a temporary joy, because I repeat everything that the world provides to man is a momentary thing. But I want to say, I just came to this night to say this, because what God provides to man is very different. What God has for man to quench the thirst of man's soul, to bring joy to his soul, is very different. And the psalmist speaks of his own experience. If we read the rest of the text, it says the following, I place joy into my heart, more in the time in, in things multiplied. The wheat, the result of a plentiful harvest, how joy does it bring to a farmer of a plentiful harvest? And wine also speaks of joy so very well. The Lord placed in the heart of David a joy that was greater than the one that he lived. 
in this moment of the wonderful harvest of the wheat and the wine. And I want to emphasize here that David said that it was the Lord that placed this joy in his heart. And the Lord has brought to men, has brought men to be in God's house, a simple place, and it's true. I would say a place where simple people attend, that's true. I'm going to say what the servant said in the past. This is the house of God, the place where God gives men what is something that is not fleeting, but it is something that is going to last an entire life, it is going to last eternity. To place joy in my heart, and the joy that is in my heart was not men that placed there. The gladness that is in the heart of many here. There was no man who placed it there. And the joy that God wants to place in your heart, you who entered here tonight, the Lord is the one who wants to place it there. And you know that when man tastes of this gladness that God placed in man's heart, it just, it just supersedes everything that man has tried before. And it's joy that God wants to place in man's heart. David said more. In peace. And I am going to lay down and sleep. And when you think about peace, peace is a very small word. But it's sought after so much for peoples and nations and for individuals. And the Bible says two important things. When you hear out there people speak about peace, peace, there will be only destruction. Jesus says, I'm not going to give you peace like the world gives you. But the peace that the Lord gives is eternal. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And it, it is a great truth. How many people go lay down, they push their, put their head on their pillow and say, they turn to one side and turn to the other, but they not, they can't fall asleep, they cannot sleep because they don't have peace. But there's a people here tonight that has given a shout of victory because they, they have tasted of a joy that is not fleeting peace that is not fleeting, but a lasting peace that is true, a true peace, blessed be the name of the Lord. But now analyze, is this only gladness and peace? No, he speaks of, about security. In Brazil, out of the five things the Brazilian wants most is security. And I want to tell you one thing, that our security is the Lord. And there are biblical verses that support this. But I remember the one that says, with him is the arm of flesh, but with us is our, the Lord our God. There are many who made uh, uh, their own arm, the strength of their arm as their security. For the servant in their heart, God placed joy and gladness. God placed peace there. That servant knows that God will be our security. The Bible says that angel of the Lord camps around us. And he's there and he's asking, Where are you? Are you in fellowship with the Lord, my brother? You have gladness from God? Do you have peace from the Lord? Are you in blessing? Okay, then. He is our security. And I'll bring this service to a close. I always say that you and I, for God, we are God's, the apple of God's eye. It is very dangerous. It's very bad when someone 
wants to mess with me or mess with you because if they mess with me, they mess with you, they mess with God's, the apple of God's eye. So now we're going to go out on the street and say, don't mess with me. Is that how we're going to behave now? But we know very well that He is our security. God is the source of our joy. God has placed His gladness into our heart. So now, bring it, really, bring it, this message to a close. There's no people as happy, as glad, as the people called the people of God. We're here, my brethren. And Paul says that we're passing by. We're, we don't have a, a city, permanent city. I, oh, I live in Pompon, I live in Margate. This is a temporary address. Because whoever tasted of this gladness, this peace and security, no that in a little while the one who is to come he will come he's not going to delay that's the name of the Lord I'm going to sing this song service 
is coming to its end. As a spiritual gift, that need to be informed to the church here. A man that was about to die of thirst next to a well, but the rope that tied up to the bucket had broken. So, very well, Jesus is the well of living water. No, Jesus is the fount of living waters. Whoever drink of him who never thirst again, but will jump out of their hearts, a river of waters. But if you enter here tonight with the desire to quench the thirst of our soul, Jesus is this wonderful fount. Bless me the name of the Lord. Lord, receive our service, our gratitude for yet another no night in your presence. Because we leave this experience of being able to taste of this wonderful gladness, of this peace and security. In having, Lord, our soul, or the thirst of our soul quenched. We, we praise you for this and we please receive ourselves. We give everything to you in the name of Jesus. In the wonderful grace of the Lord Jesus, the love of God, our eternal Father, the sweet and tender consolations of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, be resting upon us, my brethren, now and until the return of the Lord Jesus. Amen. The church may be seated. We are here at your disposal to pray for a life for you, my brother and sister who visited us tonight. Just need to raise one of your hands so we can identify. We are going to go toward you. We are going to pray for our life. 